Growing up, my grandpa Abe always told me these amazing stories. Jacob, when I was a lad, I lived in a home for peculiar children. Let me show you some pictures. You see that girl? You see her shoes? They're made of lead, and if she took them off, she could, like, float. And I'm talking really high. You see this kid? His name's Melvin. No one's there, though, Grandpa. He was invisible. Now, these two people are the twins. And as you can see by the fact that they're lifting huge, like, 50-ton boulders, they had super strength. And it was a little sketchy. Like, you don't get in fights with them because you would be dead. But Grandpa, those pictures can't be real. They are. There are all these children that do all these amazing things, and for a while I believed him. But after some time, I, I stopped believing. Then, on the worst night of my life, I found my Grandpa dying in the forest outside of his house. Grandpa! Grandpa, are you okay? Find the bird! The loop! I, I, the old man's grave! You what? have to find it! What are you talking about? September 3rd, 1940! Grandpa, what's going on? Tell them what happened! Grandpa! 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 What I saw, what I thought I saw, it messed me up for a long time. Then, one day when we were cleaning up my grandpa's house, my aunt found a book with my name on it. Inside of it was a letter addressed to my grandfather from someone named Miss Peregrine. I'd found the bird. Following various clues, I hopped a plane to Carnholm Island in the UK. I asked people that I came across if they'd ever heard of such a home for peculiar children, but none of them had, until I found an old man who'd been around back then. So, do you know anything about a group of orphans that used to live on the island? Sure, a lot of people. They'd come around into town sometimes, but they'd pretty much keep to themselves. Stayed on the other side of the island, in that big house. Do you, do you know if there are any of them still alive? No. Well, what happened to them? The Cherries. They were bombing the island during one night during the Great War. The town ended up being fine, but the house was hit, dead on. When we searched, we found no bodies. Quite suspicious. When did this happen? happened September 3rd, 1940. I refused to believe him at first, but it's hard to deny something when it's staring you right in the face. But I kept looking around the house anyways. But then, one day, they found me. You must be Abe's grandson, Jacob. How do you know? I have been awaiting your arrival. Everything my grandpa had told me about, the children, the monsters, everything was real. And now, they're after us.